Hey y'all, come on in here and we'll make some of these here fried green tomato sliders. We could put a whole handful of them grits in there. No salad tonight. I think what we going to have is I think we going to I've done already got them all out of there. I would like to find two more if I could. And we'll go in the house in there, and we'll, uh, I've got some real dark tomatoes, and then I've got some really, really white tomatoes, light colored, you know. I'm just saying, I don't know about them dark colored tomatoes or them white ones right there, you know, I like a green one. But let's, let's fry one of these along with what we already got fried green tomato sliders these little sliders we're going to go ahead and cook them in this skillet right here I'm going to put about a half inch of oil in there well we'll just slice them up the reason you call these little things a slider you, you, uh, you, your tomato should be no, no larger than that right there. That is the perfect size for these fried green tomato sliders. You know, you slice. We, we're going we're gonna to slice them. I'll show you what you got. And I, and I got, I got two there. It's borderline on being too big. Actually, this all, all of those right over there are perfect in size. This one would pass. That's the biggest one. Okay, this is a twin to that one, so surely it'll pass. And this one is no, you know, let's let that pass. And this one is, that's going to be good. This one right here is the one that I, I just, I just, and being that I've got it off the vine, I'm going to fry it. Surely am. The, um, you know, some people likes to put an egg on one of these here fried grain tomatoes. But you know me, I'm not going with no egg on it. I'm just telling you that up front. Yeah. The perfect little slider would be this one. And just ever so gently take off the end down there. And then these little things. Now most people, you know, they, they recommend that half inch long. Thick. You know what I mean? Square across. No deviation whatsoever from the measurement. And I will tell you really quick that I've grown these tomatoes out there in my uh, in my backyard. I've grown these. I've done been here long enough to grow tomatoes. So, whew, man, time marches on. Time marches on. But you know, if you spend if you spend just a, a little extra time right there, deciding what that life slice was worth it, and if you sliced it in and and it was worth it, then that that little that little half a second right there that that I paused was time well spent. You know, uh, th that was not a waste of time by no means. I was just showing you that an example of what actually would happen to you if you just took a split second to apply simple deduction to your whatever you're doing cooking that's all I'm going to say about that Oh, there's a little bad place right there. Don't hesitate whatsoever. Do not hesitate to snip that little bad place away right there. And and, and once you once you snip that away, then just ignore the fact that you have a gap in your uh, the, the the thing that goes around that tomato right there. You know, you, you've got a section or two that will not have a full diameter of that. Oh, he's gonna be good. 
Nothing. This you think? Well, what's the secret? What's the secret? He says it's going to be good. What's the secret? I'm going a little thin on these. I tell you what, there was a couple of them right there that it, on a on a thickness scale they would have failed. I'm, I'm just telling you that I, I would have had a failure on the thickness that these was on the thin slight. Thin, thin. They were not as thick as the other ones. So. Just tell you, you will run into those kind of of situations. You know, I probably ought to be piling them over there. And I, uh, you know, I was watching a cook the other day. You know, that uh, was 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 talking about green tomatoes. I, I tell you what, I was turned on to a to a channel page, and I went over there and I looked at it, and and, and the person was cooking these. They were they're frying these green tomatoes right here. The person was a well known chef, I'm gonna say. That's all I'm going to say about that. About that. So, the recipe was, you put the, you do just exactly what I did right there. And then the recipe was to put three, and, 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 and the woman actually took a spoon and dipped out of a, of a cup over there. She actually dipped out three spoonfuls of water. And put in that and shook it around. Man, I was like, you know what? When, when you when, when you when your cooking is to that level, that you have to measure out three spoonfuls of water. Man, I'm I'm just saying, cooking 101 would would not be out of line. You know what I mean? Just pour you some water in there. Man, three tablespoonfuls. You know what, I pro probably, I, I would venture to say, on one of them questions, it's like, you know, what are the odds on everyone in the whole world knowing the answer to this question? And you'd say, oh, I'd say the odds are about 99, 99999999. You know what I mean? That kind of number. Astounding in its total, total amount, you know. Oh, it's going to be good. You're going to say, he sure is taking a long time to cook them maters right there. Well, if I wasn't talking to you, I'd done be done. Oh, that looks good. It was a good tight grain tomato right there. I don't know what kind it was. Uh, I think I think my son over there passed me off a tomato plant. I'm pretty sure, if I remember it right, uh, he had too many. And the neighbor on the other side over there... Uh, uh, passed me across the fence there, uh, I don't know, four or five tomato plants, you know, uh, e even to the point where that the lady uh, started the tomatoes by seed. You know what I mean? When, when you start a plant by seed, you know, you you prepare the ground and you put the seed in there, you know, and you pour some water on it, you know, and you wait on it and you keep it warm and all that kind of stuff right there. And you grow the plant and you... In your over jealousy, kind of anticipating loss, you know, or something, and maybe, uh, anyways, you had too many tomato plants. Okay, is, uh, and I think this was one, th I'm, well, I know this was a gift. I actually bought a tomato plant, two of them, I think, maybe, or three, uh, some low number, not more than that. I don't think. So, actually, I think I had an extra plant that I passed off to somebody, you know, in the meantime, on, on the size of my, my thing out there, raised the bed. You know, I got one, you know, but I don't. Uh, see, just in a matter of a minute, a few, uh, short, very short time, we, uh, we done already knocked that out there. We'll make some, we don't got no batter. I don't need no batter. We're going to put some of them grits on there, oh. Well, I don't think it's out of line to take a snack during a, uh, uh, while you're cooking. And right here, I have probably got the, this right here, you know, you know, sometimes I have trouble with, with my language, you know, this uh, Appalachian English that I talk to y'all about, uh, with. This right here is the, 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 the,
This is as good as a bowl of cold cereal that you can get. I, I don't. I probably. I don't think you probably. You, it can't be matched in a factory because this built up over time. And what this is, I'm just going to explain it to you. Oh, I can't eat this with chopsticks too. Don't get me wrong. I got the clear plastic bag over here on the sideboard. Let's say you wanted a bowl of cereal. You know, uh, get your flakes out, prepare your bowl of cereal, wad the inner bag up into that there box. Well, seeing how that I don't keep boxes, you know what I mean? Uh, Man, I wished I had a. Uh, well, the, the other day, I, 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 I really wished I had a box. I was doing something that a box would have been perfect for that. What I, but I'm just saying. <clears throat> a little freebie there. That's all. Just a little freebie. Pass on. Leave a comment. This right here is the remains in that plastic bag for probably a good dozen boxes of some kind of cereal. The policy here to Homestead, here at my little trailer park lot. The policy is when the when the bag gets about three quarters away empty, you just dump it off in the clear plastic bag that has a zip top on it, and then you know you mix it up. That way, you have got a uniform bowl of cereal there for about three or four days. You know you have the same thing every morning. But the little fine stuff, the sugars, the little flavor crystals, and all of that falls to the bottom down there. Okay, I mean, I've I've had I've had I've had some kind of chocolate things in here. I've had peanut butter things in here. Some kind of lemon flavored something, you know, granola. Right there's a uh, that's a little sliver of pecan, I believe. No, that's a peach seed all sliced up there. There's a granola bit right there. A lot of them nuts in there. Some they're heavy. Go to the bottom of the bag. Oh, this is the best part, and there's this much left was all of the remains because the bag never gets empty. You know, it's always three quarters or half full, so you never get to that delicious bottom of the bag bowl of cereal. And I did that just now. I decided that that, that, that bag had uh, had served its purpose, and it was time to put a new bag in the, in the service when a new box of cereal arrives, starting new. So uh, this is it, and I'm just saying it's not out of line to take take a break and and, and uh, have yourself a snack. In the meantime, let's get on with this. Uh, oh, it's so simple, you know. It's it's probably somebody's gonna say, well, you know, you wasted their time. We already know how to fry them green tomatoes. Well, that's all well and good, and I know you be eating good if you do. But right here, I'm, I'm, I'm just going. I'm just going to get this. I'm just going to do this the easy way. And you take it on. On go ahead and get you a pencil. Go ahead if you ain't got one laid up there, or if you can't type fast, hit pause. Right there's. Right there's. That, that's a. That's that's a. That's a handful. Uh, right there's one. I'm going to tell you what it is. Let's get three of them. Get you out about three, and, and, and what you want to do, it don't matter. Somebody's going to say, get you out two cups of cornmeal. Well, you may be wrong. You may not have enough tomatoes. To, to require you to have two cups. So what you do is you kind of visualize how much tomatoes you got there and how much cornmeal you're going to need to coat each and every one of them thoroughly. So, cornmeal. I'm going to put some flour in there too. And, and the same goes. I'm going, to get a, I'm going to get a handful and I'm going to get another. But not as big. A smaller handfuls. Just get them out there and dump them off over in there. And that... Uh, you, you know that bowl of cereal that I was telling you about a little bit ago? Okay, this right here is probably the top detent thing, risk detent, whatever it is, detent resistance, meaning it's really, really good 
right here's what it is. It's these, uh, I'm going to show you, see that? Grits. I'm going to get two of them. No, I'm going to get three. See, that's not enough grits, so I'm going to get some more. Uh, okay, I, I scooped it up. Got about that many grits. And that them right there, that's them, um, it says they quick grits. Uh, we, let's put something else in there. Onion flakes. These are dried onion flakes. They're real cheap, but put you a handful of them in there. Just dump them right there. Oh, it's going to be good now. And, 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 and I tell you what, as good as these little sliders are, I anticipate these to be because this is a good recipe. You know me, I always add this right here. And that right there is about, a, oh, that's just a good dusting of red pepper flakes dried. I seen some seeds in there. But that's all you want to put in there. No, it's not enough. Uh, you, uh, you you want this to you uh, you want this to be a treat. I'm 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 gonna say it's a half of a teaspoon. Just put them in there. I uh, never fret it. And uh, kind of to give it that um, you, you you know back alley cafe uh, atmosphere where you would where, where you normally would get a fried green tomato that kind of establishment. That's where all the good food come from, man. Uh, and, and and the smell out front, it's it's undistinctable. And that right there, that's a good big old spoonful of uh, uh, garlic powder. Now we can mix this up. Y'all see that tomato right there? I grow that out there in the yard. You know, little little box nailed oh, together. Turn that oil on. I forgot it. I'm just going to turn that half an inch of. Uh, I'm going to say three quarters. I'm going to say. Uh, do once that oil gets hot we're going we're going to put these here you see i ain't done nothing to them you know what i mean you know what i mean it's just been laying right there in plain sight you know what i mean no 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 hanky panky no trickery no nothing that's all i'm gonna say about that but all you do is dust these up and if by chance you have more of these tomatoes and I don't like to get too far ahead. You know what I mean? I like to dust up what I can put in that skillet at one fried. You know, and about the time that that's done, then, then I'll dust up another another uh, section of them. You know what I mean? Another skillet load. And first off, you get your, you get your clock positioned about right there in your grease. That oil right there is pretty hot now. But you just put these little, it's pretty hot. Fried green tomato sliders. Meaning when you get a hold of one of these, you know, it's the right size. These right here are going to be fried. Because they're so thin, it just does not take very long to fry them. One's a little bit thicker or a different place in your skillet, just let it fry. A couple of paper towels on a uh, paper plate. Let's turn this one over. Oh yeah, it's going to be good. 
I'm gonna let them, you know, they look so good. This one's ready. So is this one. I don't know. As we get to frying, I did turn that temperature down, so I'm going to, I tell you where I'm at, in a, in a clockwise, in a counterclockwise direction with the little knob inside the number ring right there, it's not hardly to medium being straight down. It's like, uh, you know, the seven o'clock position right there, that's about where it's at. Another one, ready to go. Two, ready to go. I guess if I had to guess about it, I'd guess about, uh, you know, three or four minutes on each side. Oh, this batch is ready to go. No need to wait any longer. I mean, you can look at the bottom if you want to, but, you know, you get a, at some point you get a, a sense of when, when they're, they're ready. Perfection. And in this case, we'll just load the skillet right back up. Can y'all smell them onion flakes? be poor but we eat good you know a chopstick a chopstick is nothing more than the extension of your fingers these uh, beautiful simply beautiful these little sliders just a bite size just a mere bite size you can uh, very good the texture entirely different with just the addition of uh, a handful of grits Nothing more. Some garlic powder. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So easy. Delicious. A little salt. I would recommend. No salt was put on it. No soaking, no anything. So a little salt's not out of line. Let's try another with salt. Even better. Very good. Enjoy it.